What's going on, guys? Welcome back to uh, Battle of the Plains, which is the uh, I don't know what I don't know what this is. I'm gonna be honest with you. We're gonna we're gonna figure it out together. The uh, the internet. We're not gonna do a stip draft uh, for Dominaria while Dominaria is still around. I, I have a, I have a bad enough time playing Dominaria currently uh, outside of stipulation drafts, which would even lower my odds of winning. So anyway, I do like five color messes a lot. Uh, I don't like. I'm not a big Eventide fan. I could see Innistrad. I could also see World Wake. I think it's. I think it's either World Wake or Ravnica. So. So the playing choices are: we got World Wake, Ravnica, Eventide, Fifth Dawn, and Innistrad. It's like a draft, but you can only play white cards. What is? What is? What's that? What is? Oh, is that car in landfall? No, not doing that. I'm just gonna go with I'm just gonna go with Ravnica. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, look at all this fixing. What is this? Oh my god. Okay, this can't this has to be displayed differently, unfortunately. Pile view. There we go. Why is there all this negative space? If I lift this up, look at this negative space down here. What is the earth? This is all just very strange to me. And if I lower it, it doesn't actually, it doesn't resize. It just kind of disappears into the void. Good times. All right. We've got a Skargan Skybreaker. Oh, wow. We have Ravnica and there's, so there's new Ravnica and old Ravnica. Woo. All right, target player puts top five cards in the library into the graveyard. You're not you're a two five flyer, which is not bad. Aurelius Fury is pretty insane. Do we have any way to do we have any any real reliable? Uh, Boros Signet and Azorius Signet. Okay, and Celestia Signet. Wow, this is fantastic. Uh, sort by rarity, sure. I don't like doing that. I like actually finding them myself. I like the suspense. I like it's it's like a little hunt, so. But I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys. No creature leaves the battlefield for one counter. Yeah, Twilight Trover is pretty good. Proper burial. I actually don't remember this what this card does. Whenever a creature you control dies, you gain life. You go. That's pretty garbage. This is pretty bad. That's also pretty terrible. Voice is pretty cool. All right, now I'm gonna sort again by color, if you guys don't mind. So what do we got? Blue, we got Naya, but then we also have, I guess we're everything but black, because we got a Boiler Works and a, and a Guild Gate here, and a Simic Growth Chamber. Destroy the evidence. Sounds like the current administration, am I right? <laughs> okay, pretend I didn't say that. I'm sorry. Verdant Haven. All right. It's literally just a gift for for two life instead of three. Gift of gift of growth or gift of gift of paradise. That's what it's called. Oh, Civic Wayfinder. Yes, please. Mods need to kick Frank off. That's fair. That's fair. Um, one mana. Don't care about Shielded Passage. Don't care about Wake. Don't care about this. No. No. Okay. This isn't green white. This is green white red. Green green white red blue. It's totally different. Totally different thing. Plax Manta's good. Give them Creechy's Shroud. That's a counter spell. Crawl Warrior is actually pretty okay. Oh, I'm a big Shamble Shark fan. Simic Charm fan, Coiling Oracle fan. Martial Glory is actually pretty good. Um.
Did you read that article by Trump just rips up all his memos and documents? Oh, God. Oh, God. Vigian Hydropon is actually surprisingly okay. Uh, I, I actually do like Crawl Warrior. I just, I'm worried about the number of two drops. This is actually like a 15 card. What did I just add? Bread for the Hunt? No. It could be actually good, but... This is just a 3-2? No. We're actually... We might just be splashing red for just Aurelia's, Aurelia's Fury. And we have three red sources, which is pretty good. So I feel okay about that. Um, I'm not a big Active Treason fan. Should I be? I don't think so. I don't think so. Centaur safeguard's actually just fine. Jake, Jake Goshi, are you a are you a bread for the hunt fan? Because I might trust it more. Actually, Azorius Kieran's pretty good because it turns into a bird. What does this one do? Creature spells can't be countered. Oh God, why even? Simic Ragworm is pretty fine. Law Mage is good. Attacking creatures get plus one plus. Oh yeah, Grow War Chant, hundred percent. That is also worth splashing for. Oh, uh, and there's Mountain Filter, two more gates, draw card, never, because we don't have two more gates. We have two gates in the sideboard. I actually don't hate Keymaster Rogue here. We can bounce Wayfinder or Coiling Oracle. Or Plax Manta. All of those seems fine. Squirter seems good. Street Breaker is fine. I wish we had more removal. Good lord. We have, like, no removal whatsoever. Double red is rough. I wish we could play the Scar and Skybreaker, but I don't foresee it. It's fascinating. Oh, it's a political article, too. That's pretty good. I like a good political article. It's utterly fascinating. I don't think we have any removal. Um... Nope, that's not gonna... That's not... That's certainly not how removal works. I'll take Mistral Charger. So I want to put these lands over here. We have two Guild Gates, so that means we can probably play 16. We, we can actually probably play 15 with all this, and our, our curve is relatively low, and we also have this. So we're gonna play 15 lands, which means we got like six more cards. What up, Valley Man? I'm just trying to make a bread... Bread... Oh. Oh, I see. Because Jacob Goshi, I would actually trust your your input on Ravnica. Because you're an old you're an old timer, like me. Let's put in the Keymaster, not to be confused with the Gatekeeper. Put the centaur safeguard in here, sure. The one drop mana dork? Are you talking about this one? No. No. Oh, big fan. Why no Dominaria drafts? <laughs> Do you mean right now or why they're not anymore? Hmm. Play the crawl. I don't I want Electromancer. You can you can get out of here. You can get right on out of here, Electromancy. You think you're so fancy with your Electromancy. Well, unlike Thrun, you will not be the last troll, I'm sure, my friend. I kind of like Hydropon. It makes your bad creatures even better. It's kind of slow, but it was actually... It always impressed me. It, sometimes, it, it, it progressively impressed me in, uh, in Ravnica Limited, let's say. Because all your guys are just one bigger. I don't know if our pool is that great. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Got the look.
Yeah, brown scale double green. Mm. Also two three. Mm. Two two extort could be fine. I don't know if we're gonna have enough white sources, but I mean it is a two two for two. <sighs> this is tricky, man. We have two more cards that we get to play. Oh, what is actually what does this guy do? Uh, Vigilance long control gate two five for four. It's not terrible. We do have one gate. It's not a lot though. Wasn't ever a big Hydropon fan. Well, that's that's fine. He wasn't a big fan of you either. We talked before. Get wrecked. Might be this guy in Mind Eye Drake. Mind Eye Drake's just a 2-5, but it mills them for 5, which is awesome and limited. You always want to mill your opponent, even if it's random. <laughs> oh, good times. The trolls are so real. Um, Yeah, 2-5 Flyer seems fine. All right, this will be the deck. And we only have, like, three, three red cards, so that's pretty good. All right. 1-2... We're not that heavy white either. I'm gonna go with one mountain. Four of these. Four, five, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six, seven. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna roll with whatever whatever lands they say, that's what we're doing. I saw Hydropon live when they were on tour with Winger. <laughs> oh god. Just fantastic. He told me his plus one, plus one counters are only for me, and then he gave them to four other people. Well, I don't know if they were people. They could have been four other creatures of, of some sort. Ugh. Too many planes? Why don't you shut up? Did you ever think about that? Got him. <laughs> oh, this hand is gas. Um, I'm going to keep you on top because it lets us go turn two, play that, turn three. You'll see. You'll see what we're doing. You'll understand. She's got the look. I mean, we should have played Forest in case we draw an island and we could play Shamble Shark. But instead, we're going to play Voice of Resurgence. And that's just fine. What? Oh. Aggressive. Oh, boy. So next turn, we get to go Azoria Signet into Simic Growth Chamber. Got him, count one. <laughs> Oh, why don't you get out of here with your can-do attitude? Get, get, get wrecked. Did they kill my guy? Did they exile my? Oh my god! You have no class. And they go, la, 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 she's got the... Next time we can go send a Law Mage into a Boiler Works, which is pretty nice. sha na 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 God, I wish we didn't draw Shauna because in that in that last Dominaria draft because now it's just going to be in the head forever. Forever. So this just deals seven one time and then it dies. Look at this guy. This guy costs four to level up? My God. Look at this aggressive, look at this aggressive opponent we have. It's actually pretty good. Next time they just get to go tap four, pump this guy, and then it's a two, one, and a three, three. And I don't want to really block here. God, I hated Zend I hate the Zendikar format. It's so aggressive. Hmm. So we have four to five mana this turn. I feel like it's just Law Mage block here. Like, it forces them to pump, right? They have three cards. We have some good things. We can't do Oracle and Shark because we have a white mana. 
Oh, we, I mean, we could have played Forest, but I really don't feel like playing Forest this turn. Like, I'd rather just get the Boiler Works down. I'll take two. It feels like they're missing land drops, and I say this because they've missed two land drops. Thank you. Hey, Keenan, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, a stonework puma. Uh, it's pronounced puma. <laughs> okay, well, my mistake. Hmm. I would like to play Helium Squirter than Shamble Shark. Six mana. It's an awkward amount. Let's go Oracle here and see what happens. That's exactly what we wanted to happen, actually. So now we can play that and Squirter. Which sounds weird. I think we just attack here. Yeah, I'm okay with attacking here. My head is still... I have a headache today. And it is not fun. I wish I was having a better time about it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So this is three, which puts us to 11. We have to, like, assume this is going to pop for seven. Does it have trample? Oh, God. want to trade with this 3-3? Three, three? Probably. It makes our Shamble Shark a lot worse. I think we can just chump block for now and we'll see what happens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's pretty good. We can actually go Shark into Warrior, but we can't pump Warrior. Mavaka Ghost. I actually got a bunch of Spider-Man comics, but yes, I did get the one we ordered. It was pretty sweet. I'm just going to play this because we have a bunch of white mana. I kind of want to Shamble Shark into Crawl Warrior just to... Uh... Just to evolve it. What does that make it? It makes it a 4-3. Assuming we put a counter on it from the squirter. <laughs> from the squirter? <laughs> it's such a weird... What a weird format. I'm going to attack for 6 here. Because this is a sizable clock. Is this a peasant draft? It's, uh... This is old Ravnica. You know what? I don't know what it's called. It's Battle of the Plains. And we, our plane is Ravnica. Evolve is only larger power or toughness. Yeah, so if the power or the toughness is larger... Um... It evolves. I'm gonna tap you, tap you. We'll use the red. No, we need two green. That's too much. Alright. So, tap you. Tap you. We'll use the blue play a shark um e yes 
and then we'll use this green. We'll also say yes. And oh, he didn't evolve because of the stupid counter. I'm a dummy. Yeah, a graph throws the ball off. The math is math is hard. I'm not a big fan of uh, mathematics. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Someone's trying to hack your Steam account? I don't understand. I never understand that. How do you even know that's any good? All right. Well, we dodged another Zektar Shrine Expedition. I will not be blocking. I will just. I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed that you don't have anything to deal with my graph. My graph digger. <laughs> it's not what it's called at all. And then we can win with this flying crawl warrior. Oh, it was not kicked. Okay, well, that's a thing. I will not put a counter on that. That should win us the game. Give all our guys menace and flying. Thank you. Game Crank, 12 months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, that's gonna do it. Oh boy, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen in there. Ooh, gruel war chance, a hell of a thing. Okay, hell. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. All right, so we did see an enchantment. Let's see. Do we have anything that deals with enchantments? No. Well, that's unfortunate. I have not read Sandman, actually. Mr. Sandman. Yes? Bring me a dream. A boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Please turn on your magic beam. So, all right, we'll, we'll try not to care about Zektar Shrine Expedition. I think we're actually fine. I don't think we need anything right now. This might be too many planes, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, because we had the double white cards on turn one. That's why we actually did that, but... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I'll just add one more. I'll add another forest instead of a plains. Mr. Sandman, bring me a name. Oh, look at this beautiful hand. 15 lands. Really bites in the... Of course, it, our hand is 2 drop, 2 drop, 2 drop, 2 drop, 2 drop, 2 drop. So, uh, if we had a land here, it could be, could be keepable. This hand is keepable. You gotta go to the bottom, though. <clears throat> we do need a bounce land or a signet, though. That'll do. That'll do. I think it's Hydroponic to safeguard. Uh, I have... I've read most of Transmetropolitan. I stopped at some point. But that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago.
Boom, 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 boom. Now I have, I hate you guys. I hate you guys so much. I hate you with love. Zach Sorg, you're ridiculous. Frank has an ouchie in his head today, but be still, don't make any misplay. Fighting on like a Ravnica hero, just beating opponents down to zero. No need for removal when we got the will. Wouldn't hurt, but still. Good luck on the rest of the games, and here's to not dropping frames. Peace. <laughs> oh, good times. Did they not do anything? Oh my goodness gracious, that's a good draw. Do we just play this guy and then bounce it with the boiler, bounce it with the keymaster to gain another three? That seems good. We could also play key rune and boiler works here, and then we have one, two, three. They missed the land drop, and we're going like double ramp into boiler works. Yeah, we're just gonna go this into this. The old six mana. All right, that'll do. Good games, good games. Let's let's take out one of these and add one of these. What would I recommend to a foreigner? That's a good question. Define foreigner though. What's your like? What is that? That's I mean, I'm not sure if being foreign really would uh, exclude you from liking one thing or another. You know, that's a weird that's a weird qualifier to put on, Daddy Cube. Hey, this guy's a big phony. Oh god, I should do it. Yeah, we'll do uh, Battle of the Plains. We'll change our... Everyone's gonna get mad and be like, Um, excuse me. You said you were doing Dominaria drafts? That has my favorite Planeswalker, Teferi, hero of Zendikar. And doesn't... this does, I am an expert in the Dominaria draft format, and this does not look like that. And I'd be like, yeah, you got me. Nailed it. I would assume that we can draw a blue source. But boy, if we don't, I'm going to keep it anyway. I don't even care. Guys, I live dangerously. You can't tame me. Boom 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 Hey man, you only draft uh well quite often, actually. Not not once, but quite often, quite frequently. I also wear glasses. I here I'll just push my own up. Excuse me. I heard you're making fun of people with glasses. Also, my glasses are real dirty. They need to be cleaned. I don't appreciate it. Island off the top, followed by forest off the top. That's what we're trying to do. I feel like the ratio of Poindexters in your fan base is lower than you imply here. Well, that was a blue source. I uh, I can't actually, I can't actually argue with that. It doesn't do what we want it to do, but you know, maybe in time. I, they don't. Did they miss a land drop too? No. That was. It just looked like we had. A stipulation where I just use that voice, I'll probably die. I'll be like, oh god, my throat hurts really bad now, guys. Boom, 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 boom. 
Okay, so we can... Any land lets us play this. We can play this. Oh, wow, that was a great land. Hexproof! Do, 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 do. Our deck is doing everything we want it to do. Our guy is hexproof. What can he even do? Nothing. My god. I was going to make myself a little bigger. There we go. There's a bigger Frank. I have to sneeze. This is going to be a real ordeal. <laughs> oh, God. I have to talk about the entire review, Brian. Oh, God. Ideally, the stipulations aren't physically demanding. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. It might just, it's probably just Street Breaker Worm. However, we can play Mind Eye Drake. And then next turn, keep up Plaxmanta if we draw green. But since we might not draw green, it's probably better to get the Street Breaker away, break our worm down, and then go these two next turn. That's my, that's my theory. This is a four six for five. This is a six four for five. Mm, that's a six four, good buddy. Hexproof, woo! Do, 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 do. Every day you're targeting my creatures, woo! Do, 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 do. Raven Inspector. Uh, this is in a draft stream. I was watching some YouTube videos of drafts and wondering if you could talk more about your opinion on the Shield of the Realm. Um, I don't know, actually. Shield of the Realm is interesting. Like, there's sometimes where it's fine. Like, the problem, my problem with Shield is that, like, it's easy to play around, right? Like, in the sense that, like, if it's, it's like, a, it's kind of like a combat trick where it's kind of giving you plus two toughness. What? Why? What if I make it a human? That'd be cool, right? It's kind of giving you plus two toughness, but on the other hand, your opponent can see it. So they're just like, oh, I'll just play around this. But... I don't know. It's just never super impressed me. Excuse me, that's not the correct lyrics to the DuckTales theme song. Thank you very much. I guess we just go Squirts, Squirts McMurts over here. Your mom's super impressed. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. I don't think Shroud does make the enchantment fall off because it's not being targeted at the time. Protection from white would make it fall off. But... The problem with shield is that they keep getting infiltrated by Hydra. It's really ridiculous. We're at a point where it's just like, why do you even exist? Excuse me. I would appreciate it if you sung the correct lyrics to my favorite Disney cartoons. Thank you very much. Oh, well, my mistake. I will uh, keep that in mind. Do they know what happens here? Do they know I can give this dude flying? I don't know if they know this, but... All right. Um... I don't know if we like if they if they know we can do this, then they're probably just baiting it. They might not know this is an ability though. I'm just gonna do it anyway. 
I want to risk. I want to risk it. Uh, oh, all right. I think we did it. Surface human destroy creature, sure. No. So, on the bright side, we did get to use the, the, the we get we did get them to use their repel on our creatures. So that's pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wish I had another green here. This lack of green is really sad. That seems pretty good. So we can play this guy, bounce you. Still wish I had more green sources, but I think we're I think we're okay. A lot of things going on here. <laughs> oh, no attacks. All right. Well, we get to keep Plax Manta up forever. Another green would be nice because then we can play this Armored Wolf Rider, but that's not where we are. So. Another blue. All right. Well. All right, well, now we can at least get the Plax Manta down. And I'll put a counter on it because it's a 3-3, which is pretty good. Uh, we need another green source because we wanted to keep up Armored Wolf Rider and also keep Plax Manta's ability up like if you don't pay a green for plax manta you have to sacrifice it so i just kind of wanted to have wolf rider and plax manta man up
Destroy creature it's controlled loses two, and you gain two. That's pretty good. Where is your hex proof now? All right, well, we get to mill them. Butcher's Cleaver is actually insane. Unruly Mob, Farbog Explorer, and two lands, sure. Give me that, give me the key guy. I mean, you're gonna tap the Plax Manta for sure. Oh, fashion late to the party. Um, no. Oh, I actually was drafting a good amount during Original Ravnica. Original Ravnica was a great set to draft. This one Apothecary Geist is preventing our Ascendant Law Mage from attacking, which is pretty sad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've drawn nine out of 15 lands. That is a lot. I feel like there's going to be a voice of resurgence on the top. Unruly mod number two. Interesting. Always know to graph, dig graph triggers for opponent's creatures. Yes, there we go. Cool. Yeah, if we play land, we have nine mana. So, I mean, I, th I think Aurelius Fury is still going to be pretty bonkers, but... So, six lands left in the deck. We also have another Signet, another two Signets, and a Key Rune. So, it's nine cards, nine out of 25. It's almost a third of our deck. A little over a third of our deck is lands. Graft means that whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you may put a counter from the Graft creature onto it. And usually they have abilities like this one says target creature with a plus one plus one counter on it gains flying. So you're basically grafting a part of yourself onto, wow, that's very good. Onto the other dude. Well, we don't have any legendary creatures, so Jaya's Emblem Inferno might be rough here. Stop tapping my Plax Manta down. So we can bounce this guy, or we can bounce this guy. I think we bounce... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Huh? One, two, one, two, three, four. Yep. All right, cool. Uh, we'll say no. Bounce you. One, two, three, four. That's got to be a red. And I think we're good here. Do you get randomly assigned a plane or do you get, you get to pick the plane in the format? Uh, we chose Ravnica. Other options are like even tied, which is not plane, right? Uh, Mirrodin is a plane, Innistrad's a plane, and there's one more. World Wake Rav Zendikar. Zendikar is like the Zendikar World Wake Rise. Create a 1-1, one, one, sure.
Not little wormy. I mean, we'll trade with the angel here. I think that's fine. Look at that big unruly mob. What? That was the one. Yeah, we'll just use this instead. No. We do have 19 mana sources in our deck. 15 lands, 3, three signets, and 1 key rune. <sighs> Just mono removal dot deck over here, and they still have Sever the Bloodline in their in their in their graveyard. That is unfortunate. This card's also surprisingly obnoxious. I did not expect it to be. <laughs> Aurelius Fury, one time. Still no. Simic charm. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Dies, but we'll some counter on that dude. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This guy becomes a 3-3, three, three, which means you don't have profitable blocks. I'm just going to pass here. Is China a plane in magic lore? I don't think so. Valid question, though. Valid question. I don't think China could be its own plane, right? Earth would have to be the plane, or you know, whatever our universe is, that's the plane, right? And China is just a country on in the plane. God, discard two cards, just return to the battlefield. I'll take four here. All right, so they have a bunch of floaty dudes, so we're definitely bringing in aerial predation. Uh, I'm excited about some of the M M19 spoilers, specifically the take an extra turn card, which is oddly um, not 
No, dude. Uh, which is oddly a buy a box promo, so like you'll have to just get them on eBay, I guess. <laughs> I don't foresee myself buying four boxes to get play sets of that, but the card seems sweet. There's other cards too, but Aurelius Fury off the top, just right off the top. I will wipe your whole board out. Coiling Oracle, that's closer. Interesting. Well, I don't think this guy is getting... Again, or... We'll... Actually, we have a green. Oh, yeah, that's our green. That'll, that'll be fine. So red, two, three, so we got four. Keep these two up, five, six, and one, two. And I'm actually gonna graft onto this guy because five power means that he can't be blocked by this guy and it's a three turn clock, so. Yeah, the 5 mana 10 10 is pretty cool. Look, I made it's like build your own bloodthirst. God. What did you sacrifice? Oh, the the 1 1 token. This card's surprisingly good right now, especially because they can sac oh, this is a zombie, thank goodness. So the only other the only other human they can sacrifice is Unruly Mob, which is nice. Alright. Aurelius Fury off the top, one time. Do I have any experience with marijuana? No. I, I'm not a not a smoker. Yep, okay. So they did get rid of the unruly mob. Pretty sure Aurelius Fury off the top just wins us the game. Still close. We still got a turn, I believe. We go block, block, block. We can take one, two, three, four. And then we have another blocker right now, so anyway, so. Let's get uh, another forest. You never have too many forests. They know we have it. No reason to hold it. All right, well, fingers crossed. Any way to deal me two? No, I'll just just take it. And we're living on a prayer here. Take my hand, we'll make it I swear. That's a forest. Okay. Well, we had a good run. All right. Maybe we want one less signet, actually. Got the Azorius signet. I 
bring in aerial predation. Let's see if there's neg one, neg one. Nothing? Okay. Is that a thing I can search for? Let's try plus one, plus one, and see if that shows up. Okay, that works. Okay. Cluestone also costs three mana, which is why I don't not a big Cluestone fan. Mizium skins doesn't seem terrible, especially because they have a million removal spells. If you just beat him, you wouldn't need to worry about what's the sideboard. Touche. Touche. Uh, well, I mean, there are two rounds. There's two games, though, so I would for one game, right? <sighs> I will play first. I'm going to keep this hand. I'm going to reluctantly keep this hand. It's got all of our colors. That's really what we're going for. And uh, come on, what are the odds we draw more, more lands? Well, you know. So this is half the lands in our deck. So that's cool. This is over half the lands in our deck. So that's cool. I don't know. Your question is as good. Um, what? Oh, I played the I played the Gilgate instead of the Boilerworks. That's fine. Either way, it's netting one. I I I click this to because I thought I was clicking for uh, choose a land to bounce, and uh, we were not we were not doing that. So. Well, if I won the last game, I wouldn't have to side out my lands because, well, you get it. Boom, boom, boom. Do you think it would help psychologically if instead of auto shuffle from G, they give you a button to shuffle your deck as many times as you want before the match has started? Um, maybe, actually, because a lot of it's psychological. You just feel like you have no control over it. But then if you do it, you're like, oh, well, I, I guess I didn't hit the button enough, or, you know, or whatever. But I don't know. It's hard to say. Beans and cornbread.
pretty sure it's worth blocking here just because they're we're never getting through. So might as well prevent the two and you know get rid of their guy. The old Farbog Explorer. That is the one color we're not playing. How many matches is this? Three or four? I don't think we're winning this match. Look at the number of Teferis. Beans and cornbread. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. We can play pretty much anything we draw. That is not the worst. And we're on the uh, four turn clock plan. We do have to get this guy dead. Do you block voice here? Hmm, seems reasonable. Would you like to use this ability that gains you through life? Oh yes, please. this guy man where's this Aurelius Fury one two three four six seven eight we have nine mana so we could do it for seven that would just kill them
Yep, that's pretty good. That's pretty bad. I mean, most May abilities make sense because they're oh, like Magic is a game where there's so many corner case scenarios that you wouldn't want to do something. Yep. One time, off the top, Aurelia's Fury. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Suck them eggs, buddy. I'm sorry, that was rude. I'm sorry, what? Why did it do it for one? Why did it just do it for one? You didn't specify X. I clicked, I hit OK, and then I started clicking my mana. Magic Online, you have a great way of ruining even the best moments. I'm impressed. Cool. I made it X as one because when you like, I wish I could go back when you hit on, when it goes to show you the amount of damage you're doing, the friggin' red arrow is literally hovering over the box. So you can't even really see how much damage you're dealing. Can someone show that that's what happened? Cause I can't actually see the number of damage. Like that's utterly ridiculous. All right, well, that's cool. Well, I'm gonna take down this information so I know what to request my refund for next. Cool. Well, that's, that makes for good. That makes for good viewing. All right. Aurelius Fury off the top literally happened. And the cool moment, the cool we drew Aurelius Fury off the top moment turns into that. Thanks, Magic Online. Wow, that was such a cool moment, too. We literally have to top deck Aurelius Fury. And then it's just like, it's so deflating when you're just like, oh, I uh, didn't actually get to win. Does anyone have that clip? Like, is there a way we can see that I couldn't actually see the number of damage that was being dealt? Like, it's such a distracting thing because it's sitting there like, anyway, doesn't matter. It was user error. I mean, I clicked on, I apparently clicked on one. That's not the point. <laughs> it's <a> terrible UI. <laughs> 
Pepperidge Farm remembers. Everything is technically user error. Well, that was a good draw. So we want the blue down before the other one. Yeah, I feel like it's basically Truman Show. Quacker, gas. Oh my god, it's perfect. Oh my god, look at this, look at this. Look at this right now. Hold on one second, I'm going to show it to you guys. I'm going to full screen it, and then I'm going to clip exactly why we put it to one. Are you guys ready? This, this is my user error where I accidentally didn't see the toggle button for their life total. There it is. I'm sorry, that was rude. There it is. You, fantastic UI here. How much would you like to deal? I don't know, whatever's under the arrow, I guess. Cool. Fantastic. Quality program. If you look at this, if you can look at this and be like, yeah, it's totally your fault. You didn't enter the correct amount off of Aurelia's Fury. Well, I think we can agree to disagree there. <laughs> Oh boy, that's gas. So we can use the white and this, and that's not going to work. I'd just rather play Coiling Oracle here. Okay, so what's going on, buddy? Can you pass along that to, uh, <laughs> to whoever can make that change? Because that's pretty bad, dude. That is pretty awful. <laughs> Uh, not ideal. Not ideal. So we can only go Kieran into Boilerworks. I still just want to... I want this guy because if we hit a land... Um, you can see the exact moment is over. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. That's what we wanted to hit. So now we can go Signet. And get... Bounce this guy. And I guess we just get in there for two. Literally top deck Aurelius Fury for the win. When we're dead on board. Lose Aurelius Fury. Because we only entered one. Either way, we've had a good run here, ladies and gentlemen. We've had a good run. <sighs> cha -cha -cha -cha. Well, you can pay two to tap my Mistral Charger, but I don't feel like that's in your best interest. One, two, three, four, five, six. We play a land that's seven. We Kirun that takes away three. Goes to four. Yeah, all right. We can do all the things. This is a phantom draft. All of the, uh, what do you call them, are, fa are phantom drafts. All the Battle of the Plains. <laughs> that was the saddest song I've heard in a while. Yeah, well, yeah, it's... It's a sad day today. It's a very sad day. Oh, it can't be blocked? It can't be blocked and it's got Shroud and Flight? Woo! 
That's aggressive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana right now. That is a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You tapped out my mind eye, Drake. Knew it. Ten mana is great for Aurelius Fury. <laughs> Let's get that Aurelius Fury Redux. Then we can shoot it for one and have seven floating. <laughs> Gas. Oh, man. All right. Well, things are looking up here. Things are looking up emotionally. We're having a good time. Look at this guy. Infect. Haste. You gonna put that cloak on that boy? Doubt it. I don't know, a situation like this, I do wish we had a clue stone instead. All right, well, that's a thing, I guess. One, two, three. I'm just going to keep playing lands because of the, uh, you know, when you have Aurelius Fury and you want to cast it for one, you want to make sure you have a, an abundance of lands to do that. So let's just keep on, keep on keeping on, I guess. Oh, you paid two to do that. Intriguing. So you basically just let me attack with that guy is what you're saying. I'm intrigued by that decision. Just want to put this right over here. <laughs> Can't get over this, man. Oh, Lord. Good times. Mick the Mick, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Can you get that as an emote? Maybe. When it steals combat damage to a creature, that creature's control loses that much life. Okay, that's fine. That's a 4-mana 2-2 that I'm not terribly excited about, so. No graft. No woman, no graft. Boom, boom, boom. Lockstone Warhammer was unreal. I think it's still pretty unreal. Simic Charm, huh? That's a good boy. If they tap something down, we're going ham here. Ham, swine, and skillet. So we can actually attack with everybody. 2-2 two, two on 1-1. One, one. This guy doesn't have... This is the only dude that has uh, infect. They have one flying dude. I'll deal with that. Bouncing the cloak might be better, but then we then we trade. So it's probably just pump. Plus three, plus three. Could put them to three. Signets are fantastic. Oh, we just win this game. Alright, cool. Yeah, we're taking out one of the signets. It's probably the Azorius signet. 
It might be the Celestia Signet, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six green of both. Um, when life gives you lemons, you go to make the lemonade, and life's like, hey, man, did you need salt? And I'm like, no, man, I'm good. Oh, well, I gave you salt instead of sugar, and you're like, oh. Well, I guess I'll throw you in the trash can. Do we not have anything that destroys artifacts? <laughs> we just... We have a smash. <laughs> it's not terrible, actually. I'll bring smash in. We saw the equipment, the proliferate guy, so we saw at least two artifacts. And it's and it cycles at the very worst, so... I'm just going to keep putting this up because, boy, it's hilarious. Just look, just, 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 I can't not laugh at it. It's so comical. The worst part is like when you make misplays like that, if you feel so stupid, like that's the worst part. You're like, oh my God, I can't believe I just lost because of this, right? Like if you you feel really dumb, like you feel like you've let down everyone who's watching. It's like you robbed the the stream or the chat of that one that that cool moment. X equals one buck. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this hand and uh, hope that we draw some lands and or artifact manners. Do they switch an entire deck and Memnite, huh? Or did they just were they just missing green last game? I don't know. I want to play this first because maybe we can get a shamble shark, but thank you. Beery Binker, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. No mem night, no cry. Boom, boom, boom. Tangle ass. Whenever it becomes blocked, destroy that creature. It's a one, two. I accidentally put Deep Freeze on my Valduck last night. Hope that helps. <laughs> there's a there's a world where you could be confused and think that's going to be a sweet sweet tech, right? Like, you just put it on your Valduck, you got a cool blocker, and every time you're going to be like, all right, I get a free 3-1 every turn. Big fan. Can't believe Franklin Perkins scrubs so badly. Big fan. <laughs> yeah, well, not our first mistake. Definitely won't be our last, I'm sure. You know what? I'll take two from these these idiots. I'm sorry, that was rude. They're not idiots. They're hardworking. Everybody's crazy about a hardworking snake. Oh, God. I can do it for one. Oh, God. Just wait. Just wait. Okay? Just wait. How are we going to deal with a snack having unblockable? Valid question. I'm just, I keep looking at Rural War Chant. I'm like, this is not a real card. This card is unbelievable. It's like the feels bad of overrun every single turn. Well, I'm not going to block. So...
No woman, no sky. One, two, three, four. If you switch, it'll be five. So we can deal seven and then seven and then Aurelia's Fury for two. As long as we can plus it once and give it get it to two, we might have we might have the win here. Because if we end up dying to Memnite Tangle Asp Sky Hunter Co, I'll probably cry. Okay. Okay. No cubby, no cry. Okay. Well, they have two blockers now. I guess we could have released Fury and go one and one. <laughs> Put them to eight. And then deal eight here. Three, four, five, six. So as soon as you click this, this is unbelievable. As soon as you click it, you're like, um, I can't, uh, I can't see the number. I'm sorry. You're, you're in the way. Okay. Well, I just, I guess I won't play it then. Thanks. That's so stupid, dude. <laughs> so bad. Oh. So the only things we can actually cast are these two cards this turn. One and one. Put you to eight. You gotta deal with both of these guys. I think we could just attack in the air, play Voice of Resurgence. That seems fine. Boom, boom. Oh, we all three, 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 three floats my goats. All right. So you have four blockers, which means you can block two of my creatures, which means three gets through, which means if we hit a land, Aurelia's Fury for, I guess, three, if we can get the numbers correct. We did it. All right. We could also win with Simic Charm, but that seems less fun. Okay. Let's see what happens. I wanna I'm gonna really use Fury their face. Even in the face of risk. Okay. Put you in the front. Okay. Nope, not Simic Charming. Aurelius Furying. It's at the end of the circuit and sure it's a delayed trigger. Are you ready? This is personal. <laughs> okay, Aurelius Fury, target your face. We're, we're, I'm super at one, two, three. Okay, you ready? There we did it. Fantastic. Vindicated. Beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry about the uh, the Aurelius Fury debacle, the uh, Aurelius Fury Gate, 2018. Uh, either way, hopefully those matches are pretty fun. Maybe we'll do another one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, be sure to be back here tomorrow for the Vintage Cube. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon, etc., etc., etc. And I'll see you guys next time.